Hello everyone, today we are starting a new module, Chemical Senses. As far as animals are concerned, detecting the chemical nature of the environment is very important for their survival. While searching for food, chemical sensation helps in selecting the food. A sweet taste indicates a high calorie food and this helps to ensure adequate intake of carbohydrates for energy in the body. A savory taste helps to ensure adequate intake of proteins for proper growth and maintenance of the body. Salt and sour tastes make sure that adequate amounts of minerals are supplied to the body for maintaining homeostasis or to maintain physiological conditions at equilibrium. Bitter taste warns the animals of the presence of toxic constituents so that they can avoid such food while searching for food. Like taste, smell is also equally important for appreciating the rich and complex flavors of individual foods. Smell signals the presence of prey, predators or potential mates. Smell is also very important in building the mother-offspring relation. Chemical senses help in monitoring the chemical nature of the environment. The chemical compounds from the environment directly interact with the receptors on the sensory cells in our body and give us information about the chemical nature of the environment. The environment here means the food that we eat or the air that we breathe in. The chemical compounds are either aspirated through the nose or ingested through the mouth and we are able to sense the smell or taste of these chemical compounds. Accordingly, there are two chemical senses, olfaction that is sense of smell and gustation that is sense of taste. Today we are studying about gustation that is chemical sense of taste. The term gustation is derived from the Latin word gustare which means to taste. There are six basic tastes known so far. They are sweet, bitter, sour, salty, umami and fatty. Earlier only four basic tastes were reported. Later the umami was scientifically proven as a taste sensation. Umami is a taste sensation that is produced by several amino acids like glutamate and aspartate and nucleotides. The umami taste is the meaty flavor that is characteristic of cooked meat, mushrooms, soy and ripe tomatoes. The food rich in proteins and amino acids have the umami taste. Recently fatty taste is identified as the sixth basic taste. The fatty taste itself is very unpleasant and the food high in fat content are usually rejected or consumed in only small quantity. The perception of taste is very similar across different species of mammals but cats cannot sense the sweet taste because they don't have the taste buds to detect sweet taste. It is an evolutionary adaptation that they have developed because of their carnivorous feeding habit. We are able to perceive different tastes with the help of specialized sensory cells called taste receptors. The taste receptors are present in taste buds on papillae. On the surface of tongue, there are so many projections or bumps called papillae. Each papilla has several taste buds. Each taste bud is a cluster of specialized sensory cells called taste receptor cells. Here you can see the groups of taste receptors present in taste buds which are located on the surface of tongue papillae. Here you can see the structure of a taste bud. Each taste bud is formed of a cluster of 50 to 150 taste receptor cells. The taste bud is present immersed in the tongue epithelium. At the surface end of the taste bud there is an opening called taste pore. Each of the taste receptor cells extend fine hair-like structures called microvilli and they project towards the taste pore where they come in contact with the tastent molecules. Tastent molecules are chemical compounds present in the food and which can be tasted. Each taste receptor cell is specialized to detect any one particular taste and a single taste bud can have all these taste receptors together forming the cluster. 
At the basal end, the taste receptor cells are innervated by nerve fibers from the cranial nerve. These nerve fibers transmit taste information to the brain. In addition to taste receptors, pain receptors, touch receptors and temperature receptors are also present in the tongue. We have seen that taste receptors are located in taste buds on tongue papillae. There are four types of tongue papillae of which only three are gustatory in function. The first type of gustatory papillae is circumvallate papillae. The circumvallate papillae are large round papillae located at the base of the tongue. They have several thousand taste buds. The next type of gustatory papillae is foliate papillae. Foliate papillae are located at the back edges of the tongue. They contain several hundreds of taste buds. The third type of gustatory papillae is fungiform papillae. They are so called because they have the appearance of button mushrooms. The fungiform papillae are located at the tip and edges of the tongue. They are more in number than the circumvallate and foliate papillae. In addition to sensing taste, the fungiform papillae also help in detecting the temperature of food and also touch and pain perception. The circumvallate papillae, foliate papillae and fungiform papillae are the gustatory papillae concerned with the perception of taste. There is another fourth type of tongue papillae which is not gustatory in function. It is called the filiform papilla. The filiform papillae cannot do taste perception because they do not have taste buds or taste receptors. Filiform papillae are the most common and they are found throughout the tongue surface. Though the filiform papillae do not have any gustatory function, they play important role in the feeding mechanism. They provide the tongue with a rough surface which helps in gripping the food while chewing. They are abrasive and give the tongue a cleaning and rasping action. We have learned about the different basic tastes and the taste receptors. Now the question is, is there any tongue map? The answer is no. Earlier it was thought that there is a tongue map and a particular taste can be perceived only at a particular site on the tongue. But now it is realized that tongue map is a myth. All the basic tastes can be perceived anywhere on the tongue where there are taste receptors. With that we finish today's class. In the next class we will study about the mechanism of perception of each taste. Thank you.